Welcome to YouTube lecture series on Vedic Mathematics. Sub-series, multiple methods of solving the same problem. In today's session, we will take the problem 18 multiplied by 12. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, SRS Vedic Mathematics Academy. Let's learn how we can solve one problem in different methods. Our problem here is 18 multiplied by 12. This methods what we are going to solve will be based on our first lecture series on Vedic Maths basics. The first method for this problem will use multiplication special case where digits at tens place uh, same and sum of digits at unit space is 10. So take common that is 1 multiply with one more that is two multiply units places on the right hand side one into two is two this is 16 join and you get the answer of this multiplication is two one six so what we are used here is multiplication special case next second same problem will solve using multiplication crisscross, vertically crosswise method. The first step here is multiply this in its place 8 into 2, 8 multiplied by 2 is 16. So you have to write 6 here, carry extra digit till next step. Next step is cross 1 into 2 plus 8 into 1 plus there is a carry here. So that gives you 2 plus 8, 10 plus 1, 11. So we'll write 1 here, extra digit will carry to the next step and next step here is 1 into 1. 1 multiplied by 1 plus that carry 1 of this last step, so it gives you 2. So answer is 2, 1, 6, same answer. So second method of solving same problem, this method is crisscross. Let's try one more method. Now 12 here is very near to 11. So we can convert 12 as 11 plus 1. So there are two problems. First problem, 18 into 11. 18 multiplied by 11. This we can solve first, 8. 1 plus 8 is 9, 1. Okay, so this is a series of one topic. Plus 18 into 1 is 18, so plus 18. So add this. 8 plus 8 is 16, 6 carry 1, 9 plus 1, 10 plus 1, 11, 1 carry 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. Same answer, 2, 1, 6. So here the Vedic mass topic which I used is multiplication by series of 1. So like this, we have solved this one problem in three different Vedic methods. When you cover more topics, advanced topics of Vedic maths, you can solve the same problem in six different methods. So this is one important concept of Vedic maths that one problem can be solved in multiple methods. Thank you.